Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and uh, now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day, and both of them were diet related in a way, first I picked on vegans, uh, then I picked on the people promoting ketogenic diets, but when I've looked at the newest research and the newest health data out there, uh, this just really needs to be said. So let me put on my plus five how to weapon smithing. We're going to skill up my crafting a little bit and let's talk about this. And I'm going to be brutally honest here. Uh, I'm not going to pull punches on this. I am just going to be honest because it really, it upsets me in a way that when we have this sort of scientific consensus coming out. And guys, look at the last video I did. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, look at the last video I did. I linked the findings of an international body, the head body for uh, osteosclerosis, who are pointing out who are pointing out that it is now a scientific consensus that there is not a correlation between LDL cholesterol and osteosclerosis, which is plaque in the arteries. It is caused by it. They are no longer debating this. In other words, there, there's not scientific debates and arguments anymore. They feel that the evidence is overwhelming enough that they can definitively say that elevated LDL levels are the cause of plaque in your arteries, all right? It's not triglycerides, not this other stuff. And that is directly caused by the amount of saturated fat that you consume in your diet. Not your dietary cholesterol, your saturated fat. Ketogenic diets almost always exceed the maximum recommendation to saturated fat. And these people can say all they want about their blood work looking good, ask to see their LDL numbers. And we've got these guys, we've got Brandon Carter, we've got Jason Whitrock, and now to some extent Mike Rashid are standing here promoting these diets as healthy. And I'm sorry, but if you guys are looking at the current research, the consensus, not fringe stuff, not Gary Tobbs, who is not a researcher, uh, which would be no better than you guys taking my word, I'm talking about the scientific consensus of the leading experts in the world on these things who are looking at the data of millions of people they're looking at, and they're saying... Elevated LDL levels will kill you. It is not debated anymore. And these people are promoting fringe science and claiming it's healthy. All right, you guys are killing your followers. By promoting these diets as healthy, you are killing people. And you're doing it for money. Now, maybe they're well-meaning. Maybe someone like Whitrock really believes these diets are healthy. But that's ignorance at this point, guys. It's ignorance. And I have followed a ketogenic diet, too, and that pisses me off. And people come and say, well, if you follow those diets, you'd be real. I've done ketogenic diets. I quit doing them because of health concerns, realizing it really wasn't worth it, wasn't an ideal diet. And now the data is becoming overwhelming that this diet will, in the long term, kill you. And there is no culture on earth that follows a really fat, high fat diet that lives a long time. All right, they don't exist. This shit will kill you. It is unhealthy. And that's what these people are promoting. That's what they're promoting. Ultra high fat, high saturated fat diets. And the fact that these guys can stand there and claim that because they're getting leaner on it, that this is going to help you and be ideal, this shit will kill you. They are killing people with their ignorance and they're doing it to make money, to sell diets, to sell diet books, to sell nutrition plans, to even sell supplements in Rashid's case. They're killing people. We have a diet that already, when you go look at the, the research on it and the medical experts, what do all the registered dietitians and medical doctors say who work with this sort of diet? They all say don't follow this sort of diet unless you've been prescribed it by a medical doctor and you are having regular blood work done and a, a medical doctor and a dietitian are working with you. Do not do this type of diet on your own. All right, that is what the leading experts are saying. And these guys are promoting that you should do something that the top experts say don't do this diet outside of the care of a physician. All right, you don't do it without a medical doctor and a registered dietitian working with you. Do not do it. And they're promoting because they read some of Gary Tobb's books or something, uh, who's a journalist, that that gives them the ability to prescribe a medical-based diet that we now know, looking at the data in the long term, will cause heart disease. It will kill you. 
and I'm not talking about old data. We're not talking about the Ansel Keys data. We're not talking about epidemiology. We are talking about studies now that are looking at the host of material and looking at direct causation after multivariate analysis. This isn't individual studies. This isn't even looking at five studies. This is looking at hundreds of studies and looking at the comparative research. And this is what the leading experts are saying definitively elevated LDL will cause osteoporosis. That is the cause of it. That is the actual cause. It's not just associated with it. What elevates LDL cholesterol? Saturated fat intake. That's what elevates it. It's not your dietary cholesterol. It's not a lot of these other factors. It is your saturated fat. And everyone, almost everyone who does a ketogenic diet, when they pull their blood work, they all have elevated LDL. And they claim, well, the LDL isn't bad in the short term, blah, blah, blah. We have the data saying it is now. So if you have above uh, the recommended limit of LDL due to this diet, this diet is going to kill you if you follow it long term. It is going to hurt you. And these cocksuckers, these cocksuckers are promoting it. And it's fine if you're ignorant of it. It's fine if you're going, okay, well, you know, there's a lot of mixed data. Scientists aren't sure. So research says a lot of things. Okay, that's fine. We have a consensus now. We have a consensus, and when you have scientific consensus, when you continue to promote something that we now have scientific consensus that says this will harm you, and you continue to actively promote it, you are an evil cocksucker. You are an evil cocksucker and need to be called out on it. These people are bad people if they continue to promote that at this point. All right, and there's a lot of things that when we have ambiguity, it, it, it's understandable. But they are now harming people directly the evidence is there at this point. It is agreed upon in the research. And they're going to promote it as healthy. Not just fat loss. Okay, it'd be fine if they say getting shredded. Because you know what? Everyone knows getting shredded isn't healthy. That's understood also by anyone with any uh, background in this stuff. No, being at 7-8% body fat is dangerous. It will hurt you. If they were just saying, well, to get you shredded, it might harm your health, but it'll get you shredded. But no, it's this idea that it's going to improve your health, that your blood work's going to get better. Same thing I would ask, uh, what's his name? Uh, Brandon Carter, my blood work looks amazing. What is your LDL score? What is the, except the range listed on the blood work, and what is your LDL score? If your LDL is elevated, you're killing yourself and telling people what you're doing is healthy. You're going to fucking die from what you're doing. You're too old to be doing this shit. And you're going to die from it, and you're going to take your stupid-ass followers with you who are dumb enough to listen to an ignoramus like you. All right, and I'm sorry, but at this point, guys, listen to Brandon Carter. The guy isn't intelligent. He isn't smart. He doesn't know how to read research. He is doing something that is going to kill himself, and you dumbasses are going to die with him. All right? Maybe some people would argue, why are you trying to stop them? That's called Darwinism at work. If you have someone who's a dumbass saying, this is safe, you can do it. So I had to do my redneck voice. This is safe, you can do it. <laughs> Hold my beer. And the medical doctors and dietitians just say, hey, this, this is going to kill you. Then maybe you need to be taken out of the gene pool. There is an argument for that. Maybe I'm doing a bad thing by letting these people <laughs> stick around and contribute. But, but not really. That wouldn't be Darwinism. You know why? Because they're probably going to live long enough to have kids, and then their kids are going to watch their parents die young because they were stupid. So it's not removing them from the gene pool, it's punishing their family and their children. So that really isn't right. So even if you look at it from that perspective, Darwin, that's still not right. Because, you know, that's the effect. You know, their children are going to suffer because they're going to have to see their parents die at 45, 50. You know, my mother died at uh, 48. She died at 48 of a heart attack because she believed smoking wasn't really that bad for her. Smoked two packs a day. I love my mother. I love my mother to death. She always said that she was a registered nurse and she ignored the research because she couldn't really quit smoking. Uh, didn't eat well. Smoked two packs a day. My mother died of a heart attack at 48 and the medical doctor said her chain smoking was the primary cause. So I lost my mother to people ignoring science also. I lost my mother at 48 and I'll never get her back. You people need to think about this stuff when you do this sort of stupid ass, ignorant ass diet. When the data and the experts are saying don't do this diet, don't do this for weight loss and don't do this without the care of a medical doctor. All right, because there are medical conditions it does help with. 
people are going to go do it on their own. And they're going to die young. And you're going to do that to your children. I'm sorry, but at this point, when we have this sort of data, doing that is as bad as my mother saying smoking isn't really that bad. I'll be okay. My, my doctor said my lungs are in great health. Smoke two packs a day. She died on us at 48 with no warning. Sudden death. Heart attack with no warning. Died instantly. Uh, EMS was there really quick because they lived in a really nice neighborhood. They weren't able to bring her back. Uh, that What you guys are doing with these diets is as ignorant as that because you're convinced by a bunch of quacks that it's okay when the research is saying no it's not. The leading experts are saying no it's not. And you have these ignoramuses like these guys on YouTube who are telling you it's okay and they are promoting death. They are promoting death. And this is supposed to be a fitness industry, but I'm sorry, but all three of those guys, Whitrock, Carter, Rashid, are all cock-sucking pieces of shit who are making money off of killing their followers. And they need to be called out on it. They need to be called out on it because that is some sociopathic shit right there. You know, and it's fine. People can be sociopaths without hurting other people. These guys clearly can't. They're willing to kill their followers to sell a few ebooks. And that's what we have come to expect in the online fitness community. There's no fitness here. There's no fitness here. It's just ignorance and stupidity and people peddling death and dumbass diets and injury causing exercise methods. That's, that's the online fitness community for you. It's a cesspool of ignorance and stupidity and dangerous practices. It's nothing to do with fitness. Unless they're telling you to eat some vegetables and do some cardio. Alright guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.